You saw the voice of the Mud Hens, Matt Melzak in Toledo. It was part of the biggest fireworks show ever. That certainly lived up to the hype. And we saw some fireworks in the series, both home and away against Columbus. Yeah, we certainly did. But boy, what a show it was, uh, first off. I mean, I'm glad you brought that up, Joel, because it was phenomenal. And, you know, got a chance to really take it in. I uh, had Kenlin down there as well, so she got to watch. It was good 20 plus minutes uh, of, of pure enjoyment. It was just really cool. What a great job uh, put on by the Mud Hens organization to, to put that together and the near 11,000 people that stayed to watch every second of it. It's just a really cool scene with all the light up bracelets and everything going on. Jim Weber really cool had something scene. of a light up shirt. Uh, Everybody went all out for this. I, yes, that Jim Weber shirt. We're gonna have to go back into the history books to see how many years he's worn that <laughs> thing on the fourth. It, but, it is a little trippy, I will tell you. It was it was fun to see, but he's that kind of guy, so you love seeing it out of Jim Weber. But yeah, there was some fireworks on the field too, especially uh, the fact that this team goes on the road down at Columbus. They take two out of three, uh, one of them in the dramatic uh, th uh, grand slam from Ryan Belade to win a game, to, to cap a big comeback. Uh, that was cool, neat to see. Finished off the series with a great win on Saturday in extra innings. So it was a close series. But a good one for Toledo. You would have loved to have grabbed one more game in there because right now Toledo in the second half, they split both of their two series coming out of the second half. Three against Louisville, three wins, three against Columbus as well. You'd like to get, you know, start getting going in the positive direction right now. Not that you're falling way behind, but Rochester's already 10-2 and two in their first 12. So uh, you don't want to fall too far behind in the second half and then have that, that last month or so just not have anything extra for you. This is going to be a long road trip when you consider the All-Star break as part of this as well. Not going to see the Hens back here in downtown Toledo until July 19th. Next up is Omaha, team with the best record in the first half of the season. Yeah, they were really good in the first half. Now, they've, they've taken a few hits to their uh, roster because of some guys going up to Kansas City. It's changed a little bit. They haven't been nearly as successful in the start of the second half as they were in that first half, but this is still a very good club. This is a team... Uh, they can hit, they can pitch, they do everything very well. Toledo's going to have to be very sound, and they're going to have to do some of those similar things if they're going to want to be successful on the road in a place where, you know, you can watch out. If the Mud Hens get going, hitting some bombs, this is a place you can do it. The wind always seems to be blowing out to right in a wide open area around that ballpark, so uh, we'll see if there's some homers hit this week. You talked about Ryan Vallade stepping up in this last series. As you do at this level of the game, you get some roster changes, and we saw Javi Baez playing down in Toledo. What did the big league organization want to see from him this last week? I think with him, it's more just proving that he's healthy, and you want to see him if he can get some of that timing down to the plate. It looked like he did, at least in, in a few of those games uh, for the Mud Hens playing uh, not only in Toledo, but then down in Columbus as well. So, you know, get him ready to go. Let's get him back into the lineup. We know he could field. Uh, you know, we saw some great fielding out of Ryan Kreidler in his stead, uh, but we know Javi Baez can bring that, and if he could just get that bat roaring again, because it's there, it just needs to come out, and it, that's been the biggest question mark for him for a while. It's what people are very frustrated with him about, so, you know, maybe sometimes an injury that forces you away from it for a little bit, and then that restart can really change things. We saw that with Parker Meadows coming down and then he goes up and starts hitting the baseball up there in Detroit. Sometimes you almost need that, that mental reset of, of going down to the minors. And even a veteran guy like uh, Javi Baez can benefit from that, just being away and then kind of restarting things again and seeing some confidence, seeing some hits fall in. And then all of a sudden it can snowball a little bit. Let's hope that's the case. We are in the second half, but I think for fans, when you think first half and second half, the divide is always the all-star break. And so with that coming up a week from now, how needed is that for the Mud Hens and for everybody? I, I think it's just I think it's needed just to get away. I mean, when you think about it, you've been going nonstop basically since the middle part of February. It's five straight months. It's it's hard, even with the uh, built-in off days, but when you look at some of those off days or travel days, like Today, the Mud Hens had to travel to Omaha. They got to fly there. You got to get there. It's not like you can get on a flight or a bus on the first thing in the morning and get there and play a game. So you got to go the day before. So that Monday kind of sometimes gets swallowed up by travel. So then you turn around and you're basically going every day for five straight months. It's kind of nice to get away. The only sticky point this week is the late game on Sunday for Toledo, the six o'clock start in Omaha. That kind of 
hurt you a little bit because you'd love to have a one o'clock and maybe some guys could get out of there and get home on Sunday night. But uh, a lot of them will just leave Monday morning, get home, come back, ready to go for Friday in Toledo, starting a nine-game homestand. No doubt about it. Everybody on the team is going to make the most of that time, and we'll see if they can make the most of this series coming up against Omaha. Matt Melzack, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it, Joel.